Yeah, I just wanted to jump back in and um, drop a little bit of more info about um, the uh, social security aspect that I was talking about earlier. How they using your social security and putting you into like a multi-level marketing branch within the government. You gotta remember like, they are not gonna tell you this stuff. Like they don't have to tell you anything. To them, you are totally controlled and a puppet and a children and a child of the matrix. And when your number comes up, and when your numbers fall in a certain pattern, they're gonna choose you and begin to do experiments and rituals on you and there's no exception to the rule. Yeah, they may not mess with you when you're young and you stay off the radar like I was talking about on other episodes. But as soon as you hit that radar, they gonna have a secret group of police looking for you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to constantly have secret agents that you know nothing about. And their job is going to be to constantly watch you through helicopters and air traffic, monitoring you when you're on trips and things of that nature. So then when you talk about going back in after all of that and trading, it, and trading in your securities back in with the Matrix, it's kind of like you're really losing a whole lot of credit and finance to these to these banks to these banks and they're using and what they've and what they've done i was talking about this earlier is they got a certain group of people that are gold-backed sovereigns they call them gold-backed sovereigns and their social security is backed by gold because they've been out of the system for a certain period of time what happens is when you leave the system for a certain amount of years your your commodities go into what's called mint so your social security goes from being backed by fiat notes to being backed by actual gold and commodities and treasury bonds and things of that nature. So they move it into what's called like a mint type of scenario where they can draw credit off of it to where it'll never drop the rate of the dollar that they draw off of it. So if they print up dollars based off your social security number after you've been out the matrix for a period of time, they you, you are literally backing the US currency the u.s dollar it's being backed by the blood and sweat of the people because they say that there's nothing back in this but there is something back in this and what's back in this is the blood and the sweat of our people here in this country and of, of native americans and children that have been expatted out of the matrix these children have been expatted out of the matrix and they live in in, in underground facilities hybrid type facilities and being cloned and being used as doubles for, for celebrities and things of that nature and basically essentially being used as slaves on many levels, on sex slavery all the way down to human trafficking and physical slavery is what they've been used for and being used to breed and to, uh, to, to fester energy and to extract energy from to fuel these economies that are falling apart and these weather patterns that are falling apart so it's a lot going on. Um, the government's not going to tell you anything about this. This is something you have to research on your own. You have to get on your own fact-finding mission. They're not going to reveal this because of the fact that if they do, it's like revealing their high-level military plan for a whole generation of people that they really have nothing good, no good intent for, but to totally wipe out and replace with robots. It's pretty deep shit, man. Stay vigilant.